Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about how we can remove or change or replace some missed data in our data range. So for example, we have a data range here and we have some missed data. For example, here this cell is missed or this row entirely is missed. Or for example, here we have question mark instead of number. So first, for example, we want to remove these empty rows. How we can do that? The Excel have no any tools for that. So we need to, for example, select our entire range and filter those empty cells and then remove them. So I select my entire range. At first, I insert a table because it's much easier for filtering it and then I need to select black cell or question mark cells now I can remove these empty or missed data here or I can update the data I can enter the data or simply remove them however if I remove that for example, here I have another blank. I need to do this procedure for all other cells as well, all other columns as well. So I need to filter this one again and then go back here and then filter this one as well. So how we can do this in the simplest way, in the easy way? I just control Z to have my range here and in the extra add-ins which you can download it from diaco.co.uk we have a clean data tools if you press on this button you can see my selected range is automatically placed in the input range however i can simply come and select my entire range in my input range So after that, I need to define what is the character that I want to search and do some operation on it. So for example, at first, I want to remove empty cells. So I select the empty cells here. And then I want to remove entire row because here I have a missed data. And I want to remove all the data related to this row or for example this entire in row is entirely empty and I want to remove it however the question marks that I do not want to be removed so I run the operation and then I see the five cells in matched with my character so because I select the remove entire row the five rows will be removed so I press on the OK button and I can see I will not have any empty cells in my data range. So uh, the next thing is we can have, for example, the space character. I can search for a space character. Right now I do not have anything. Or I can find the cells that contain something. For example, some AR character. It will go and find those cells that have a R character but if I select the cell equals to a R it just find the cells that have exact match with a R so the entire cells should have a R no other characters not even the space and also the case sensitivity we have here so for example here I have IRS if I select the cells contained with IRS, I need to write I with the uppercase because here I have I with the uppercase. But if I use the I with the lowercase, then this is not match with the cells contained. As well as the cells equals to, I have to write exactly the entire cell here IR status for changing these cells so for example I want to change the question marks with something else for example with double question marks 
I need to select the cells equal to question marks and then replace with another character. So if I run that, I can see two cells here are updated. The one question mark to two question marks. Also, I can update these question marks with the average. So for example, here I select the question marks and then I can select replace with average of the previous or next cell. So it goes and calculate the average of this cell based on this previous cell and the next cell. However, because my data is arranged in the columns, the one column, the average of the upper cells and the lower cells is meaningful for us. So I can use replace with the average of the above and below cell. So if I run the operation, it will calculate the average. Be careful, here we have two question marks. I need to write two question marks or select the cell contains. So then if I run the operation, I see two cells are replaced and here row 27 we previously have question marks and we have now the average of the upper and the lower cells with the 3.2 here but when you have some for example missed data at the first row and then if I want to replace this one with the average of the upper lower at the upper cell I have text file so for example here the empty cell want to replace with the average of the above and the below cell but it contains an error because we have a string we have text here I cannot calculate the average of the three plus the text and so I can use for example previous cell or the next cell in my case the blow cell is meaningful so for example here I in the first row I want to replace the empty cell with the cells in the blow so I run the operation and then I can see this is the replace it with the tree so this is how the clean data works this is the very good tools for removing entire row or column of the missed data or replace them with something we want to. Thanks for watching and goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Diaco OTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website diaco.co.uk.